it's changing, you know, hourly, but we're up to 508 cases. Um, so we've had um, over 300 and what have we had? We've had over 368 cases since September 21st. Um, mm. and, um, and we've got about 74 active. Uh, but again, it's, it, you know, what we're seeing is the majority of the cases are in, like they're contained in, you know, the families. So it's someone went out and, you know, they contracted it at work. They went to a gathering. Um, they came back from college or they had an, uh, or from sports brought into the family. And we've seen, you know, one case blossom into two, three or four. Um, so when you multiply that by 10, 20 families, you know, you can start to understand why, you know, we've seen our numbers continue to uh, um, increase. Um, yeah. On a positive note, we're still doing better than the majority of the communities in the area. Um, the only thing that is slightly concerning is, you know, our positivity rate in town is at 432, which is, um, that's the highest it's been. Um, it might be the highest it's been. Um, and, um, and then when you start looking around us, you know, there are positivity rates at 7.6, 6.2, 8.8, 4.9. And then, you know, Southborough and Westborough, we're doing, you know, a little better at 3.59 and 4.2. So, you know, what we're trying to communicate to people is that there's a lot of risk out there and you want to, you want to right now, at least for the next couple of weeks, just kind of hunker down and like reduce your exposure. And um, if we do that, I'm convinced that we're going to drop um, our positivity back down and we'll be in a better place. One of the topics health director Sean McAuliffe addressed was vaccinations throughout the community. So I believe, you know, I was reading, most of us in the community are going to get the Moderna. Um, and what I was reading last night was, I believe we get a 52% protection from the first shot. Um, and then it goes up to 90, 94, 96% after the second. So it, it's going to take time, but you know, it's, you know, we're getting there and, you know, just the, the fact that we got the first responders done, um, and, and got them done in two days, <laughs> five communities, you know, 430 odd, um, you know, first responders, um, vaccinated in, um, two days, I think six total hours. It, it was, you know, it was fantastic. We put it together, you know, we got the word. It just so happened that the word came out when, you know, I think four or five of the regional fire chiefs were together. Mm-hmm. They said, you know, we all convened, put together the application to the DPH. Westboro um, had uh, the greatest number of resources that they could put towards it. And they put together a fantastic program. See the full interview at our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV.